हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for the first week of the november month session will be quite interesting so do pay attention till the end let's start first let's go for a quick one liner revision then we will proceed with our mcq First is GST collection for October month is 1.72 lakh crore rupees. RBI launched two key surveys for monetary policy unit uh, input. Then SBI card they have partnered with Reliance Retail to introduce Reliance SBI card. Nirmala Sitaraman inaugurated SBI's branch in Trinokomali. Then Reliance Retail will acquire Arvind Fashions Beauty Retail business. HSBC India launches e-bank guarantee services that is EBG for MSMEs. RBI has conferred with the Business Line Change Maker of the Year 2023 award important take a note of it then SBI has authorized to issue an N cash electoral bonds through 29 bank branches RBI has imposed penalties on Punjab National Bank and Federal Bank take a note of it and India First Life became the first life insurance company to obtain the gift IFSC license and this is also important and also remember here the number of branches here that is 29 next next is india to surpass japan to become second largest economy in asia by 2030 as per the snp global then rbl bank they have introduced go saving account then rbi has imposed 2.4 crore penalty on lnt finance for non compliance take a note of it hdfc bank has unveiled expressway digital platform for swift loans take a note of it that which was the platform that has launched this expressway digital platform hdfc bank then kotak bank has partnered with national e governance service limited that is nesl to issue electronic bank guarantee next in the sin bank they have partnered with vm markas to enhance fast remit platform that is correct then zeroda fund house launches its maiden mutual fund scheme IRDI they have formed a panel to simplify insurance policy wordings FinCare Small Finance Bank will merge with AU Small Finance Bank take a note of it Bank of Baroda they have introduced BOB Light Saving Account and next is AU Small Finance Bank they have launched Planet First AU Green Fixed Deposit question can be asked a green fixed deposit that will be focusing on environment was launched by which small finance bank or which bank it is AU Small Finance Bank next next we are talking about appointments and resignation Saima Wazid will be leading WHO South East Asian region that is SEAR region then KS Murthy has taken the charge of the chairman and managing director of Bhel Dipesh Nanda appointed as the chief executive officer and managing director of Tata Power Renewable Energy Justice Rajendra Menon appointed as the chairman of Armed Forces Tribunal PM Modi re-elected as the chairman of Sri Somnath Trust take a note of it Then Praveen Madhukar Power has been appointed as the CBI Joint Director. 
आर बी आई अपॉइंटेड मनोरंजन मिश्रा एज द एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर रोहित ऋषि अपॉइंटेड एज द एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर ऑफ बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र हितेश मकवाना अपॉइंटेड एज द सर्वेयर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया टेक नोट ऑफ इट देन हीरालाल समारिया सोन इन एज द चीफ इन्फॉर्मेशन कमिश्नर सी आई सी राइट दीज आर योर इंपॉर्टेंट अपॉइंटमेंट्स एंड रेजिग्नेशन नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द एम सी क्यूज फर्स्ट इज विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज आर करेक्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द सिक्सटीन अर्बन मोबिलिटी इंडिया कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड एग्जीबिशन ट्वेंटी Right. So remember, we are talking about 16th edition of UMI, that is Urban Mobility India Conference and Exhibition. This was held in the month of October, that is from 27 to 29th of October. Where was this held? This was held location is Maneksha Center, that is in Delhi and New Delhi. Correct. Question asked here is which among the following are correct here? A, B, C, D. So remember, option A and option B are right. Option C is wrongly mentioned here. A option is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs organized this 16th edition of Urban Mobility India Conference and Exhibition in collaboration with Inst uh, Institute of Urban Transport and with support of DMRC that is Delhi Metro Rail Corporation. So absolutely right. Second, Ashri Bora of IIT Ahmedabad won the first prize under the trophy for the best research paper category. So absolutely right. Third is Kochi Smart City Limited received the award for best public transport system for multimodal transport system project. Is it correct? So remember, it is not because it is not Kochi Smart City Limited received. It is actually Jabalpur City Transport Service City that has received this most innovative financing mechanism for sustainable city bus service project. Correct. So which is it? But here option C is saying. it is award for best public transport system that was different jabalpur uh, jabalpur city transport service is for the most innovative financing right most innovative financing we are not talking about most innovative financing we are talking about best public transport system so which is it it is of shrinagar right it is not kochi it is shrinagar smart city limited right they have received the award for the best public transport system next which organization has recently released the first data dashboard with key findings that around 30.51 million hectares of healthy land in india that were degraded from 2015 to 2019 which is it tell me it is un that is un ccd that is un ccd that is your united nation convention to combat desertification so right option is option correct according to this unccd first data dashboard around 30.51 million hectares of healthy land in india was degraded between 2015 to 2019 correct apart from this india's total degraded land is equal to the size of 43 million football pitches correct so remember this data so it is given by unccd next who has been recently honored with the 2023 global leadership award for philanthropy and corporate social responsibility by us india strategic partnership forum she is neeta ambani correct neeta ambani founder and chairperson of reliance foundation won the 2023 global leadership award for philanthropy and corporate social responsibility Next, Argentina's Lionel Messi won Ballon d'Or award or Golden Ball award for record which number? It is for the eighth time that Messi has recently won this Ballon d'Or award. And apart from this, Aitana Bonmati, she is from Spain and she has won the Ballon d'Or award in the women's category. Correct. So Lionel Messi in the men's category and Aitana Bonmati, she is from Spain. and she won this ballon d'or award in the women's category mark this both are important and it is for the eighth time that lionel messi has won this award so right option here becomes option 2 correct next who has been recently appointed as the member of the strategic and technical advisory group for tb by who so sarang dio right sarang dio he is the professor of operation management at indian school of business and he has been recently appointed as the member of this 
स्ट्रेटेजिक एंड टेक्निकल एडवाइजरी ग्रुप दैट इज टैग एंड दिस टैग इज फॉर ट्यूबर क्लोसेस ही वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द मेंबर बाय डब्ल्यू एच ओ करेक्ट देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ट इज दैट दिस वॉट इज अ एडवाइजरी ग्रुप नेम बाय डब्ल्यू एच ओ दैट वॉज लॉन्च फॉर टी बी इट इज स्टैग दैट इज स्ट्रेटेजिक एंड टेक्निकल एडवाइजरी ग्रुप देन ही विल बी अ मेंबर ऑफ अ फिफ्टीन he will be a part of a 15 member expert group that will be responsible for eradicating tb and this was set up by who next in october finkir small finance bank merged with dash in all share deal under section 44a of the banking regulation act in 1945 so which is it it is your au small finance bank so it is your finkir small finance bank they have merged with whom they have merged with au small finance bank correct and here au small finance bank will acquire small, uh, fincare small finance bank in an all stock transaction valued at 4411 crore rupees so it is au small finance bank they will be providing this amount to acquire fincare small finance bank and fincare small finance bank will be merged into au small finance bank next when was the national unity day or rashtriya ekta divas observed across the globe to commemorate 148th birth anniversary of iron man of india that is sardar vallabhbhai patel so it is 31st of october that we observe the birth anniversary of sardar vallabhbhai patel or this day is also known as national unity day right national unity day or it is also known as rashtriya ekta divas observed on 31st of october correct then this sardar title was given to the sardar vallabhbhai patel remember this also sardar vallabhbhai patel he was the first deputy prime minister and home minister of independent india correct and this year 2023 it was the 148th birth anniversary or birth anniversary of sardar vallabhbhai patel so right option is option 2 here next dash world city day was observed across the globe by the UN on 31st of October with the theme financing sustainable urban future for all so it was this was the 10th edition right this was the 10th edition of the world cities day that was observed across the globe by united nations that was on 31st of October and the theme here is financing sustainable urban future for all correct next the first ever edition this was the 10th right so the first ever edition of this world cities day when was this observed it was in 2014 and where was this observed it was observed in shanghai next when was the world savings day that is world thrift day observed across the globe with the theme of conquer your tomorrow which is it tell me when do we observe this world savings day it is observed on 31st of october only correct this day is observed on 31st of october and the theme here is conquer your tomorrow correct and india observe this world savings day on 30th of october right i repeat in india when do we observe this world saving day on 30th of october and globally when do we observe this day on 31st of october reason being we do not observe this on 31st of october is because our former prime minister of india indira gandhi was died on this day right on 31st of october former prime minister of india indira gandhi died so that is the reason we do not observe it on 31st of october but we observe it on the 30th of october next in october jp morgan has appointed dash as the new asia chief executive officer for their asia for their asia private bank i repeat jp morgan has appointed whom so jp morgan has appointed Harshika Patel as the new Asia Chief Executive Officer for their Asia Private Bank. Right? As of now, Harshika Patel will retain her existing role as the CEO of J.P. Morgan for Hong Kong. Next. Next is in which state Raja Ji Tiger Reserve is located? So it is important for your revision. Where is this Raja Ji Tiger Reserve located? It is in Uttarakhand. Then in Madhya Pradesh, Pinch National Park. Panna National Park, Bandavgarh National Park, they are also located here. Moving on, next, 
इन अक्टूबर प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी लॉन्च मेरा युवा भारत प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज माय भारत इज एन ऑटोनोमस बॉडी अंडर द डैश डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो रिमेंबर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट पी मोदी लॉन्च दिस मेरा युवा भारत प्लेटफॉर्म करेक्ट देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आस्ट हेयर इज दैट माई भारत दिस इज एन ऑटोनोमस बॉडी लॉन्च or this comes under which department it comes as it is for yuva here you can see yuva is for youth so we can say this my bharat this is a autonomous body that comes under the department of youth affairs correct and this mera yuva bharat pro platform this is for the youth of india correct and this was held during at a event that was being held at kartavya perth in new delhi this my bharat platform will encourage youth participation this will encourage youth participation in national building efforts correct this program is also the result of meri mati mera desh campaign that of amrit kalash yatra next which among the following are incorrect with respect to the report road accidents in india published by the ministry of road transport and highways which among the following is incorrect here it is asked so all these options are correct except option b option b is saying that up tops the list of the state in india with the maximum number of accidents for the sixth consecutive year so no it is not uttar pradesh but actually it is tamil nadu that has topped the list of maximum number of accidents for the fifth consecutive year right next also remember for tamil nadu has recorded the highest number of road accidents on national highways next which among the following are correct with respect to the recent inauguration of pm of india narendra modi if we look at the option all these options a b c all these three are correct pm modi launched namo sehatkari mahasamman nidhi yojana that aims to benefit more than 86 lakh beneficiaries of pm kisan samman nidhi yojana in maharashtra by providing them with additional 6000 rupees per year then c pm modi dedicated 85000 uh, 85 km long left bank canal network of the nilwade dam of the upper pravara dam then pm modi also inaugurated various development projects worth around 7500 crore rupees in shirdi maharashtra and inaugurated the 37th national games in goa on 26th of october so all these three op games uh, all these three options are correct and this point becomes important where is the 37th national games being held it will be held in goa or which state will be hosting it it will be hosted by goa next the dash edition of Kazind exercise that is an annual bilateral exercise held between India and Kazakhstan was held at Kazakhstan on 30th of October. So this is the seventh edition of this exercise Kazind that is Kazind. And how I have told you to remember this Kazind is your Kazakhstan and India, Kazakhstan and India. And this was the seventh edition of this exercise. Here 90 personals that was lent by the battalion from dogra regiment of the indian army that took part in this particular exercise so the right option is option 5 next which among the following cities have recently featured in the list of unesco's creative city network which are they that is your gwalior and kozhi kode gwalior has been named as the unesco's city of music and kozhi kodi has been named as the unesco city of literature correct mark them important these are the two cities indian cities that has been listed in the unesco creative city network where is gwalior gwalior is in madhya pradesh and where is kozhi kode kozhi kode is in kerala next which word has been recently selected as the word of the year 2023 by the collins dictionary in october so that is artificial intelligence collins dictionary selected ai that is artificial intelligence as the word of the year for 2023 next who has been recently won the 11th british academy books prize for global cultural understanding 2023 for a book titled courting india england mughal india and the origins of empire so this is the name of the book and this book has been authored by nandini das correct nandini das is an indian born author she is based in united kingdom and she is the winner of the 11th edition of the british academy book prize for global cultural understanding and this is the name of the book for which she she was awarded with the 11th edition of this award next in october motilal oswal 
alternates received approval from the cci for acquisition of the stake in dash company that is a stake in sk finance limited right direct remember this next which company has recently received three gold awards at the international convention on quality control circle it is rashtriya ispat nigam limited they have recently received three gold awards at the international convention on quality control circles correct next which credit card provider in india recently collaborated with reliance retail limited to launch a co-branded credit card to provide a world class customer experience it is spi card right they have recently collaborated with reliance retail limited and we just saw them in one liner questions also correct this credit card will be powered by which network it will be powered by rupee next name the company that has recently entered into a co-lending model partnership with the state bank of india to provide affordable and personalized financing solutions it is mahindra and mahindra financial services limited that is mnm financial service limited this recently remember a leading nbfc in india and they entered into a co-lending model partnership with state bank of india and is to provide personalized financing solutions to msme sector of india and they will offer personalized interest rate loan for each customer based on their credit profile next which bank have recently became the first foreign bank in india to offer electronic bank guarantees that is ebgs which is it it is hsbc india correct they have recently became the first foreign bank in india to offer electronic bank guarantees and we also saw this in our one liner current affairs right and this is a paper less bank guarantees it is similar to that of the traditional paper bank guarantee correct and bank guarantees are basically they are issued by the bank to a beneficiary that on the behalf of an applicant that is a promise to pay the beneficiary a specific amount of money if the applicant fails to fulfill a certain obligation next dash became the first life insurance company in india to receive g cities international financial service registration i we also did this which is it that received the first company or that became the first insurance company in india to receive the gif cities ifsc registration it is india first life insurance correct it became the first life insurance company in or first in life insurance company in india to receive the gif cities ifsc license and the ifsc unit of india first will soon commence their operation soon next sebi they have unveiled a new format for the scheme information and document of assessment or assets management company i repeat sebi they unveiled a new format for the sid that is scheme information documents of asset management company these new norms are recommended by the mutual fund advisory committee and will come into effect from dash so they will come into effect from 1st of april 2024 i repeat sebi unveiled a new format for scheme information document of asset management company and these new norms are recommended by mfac that is mutual fund advisory committee and they will be coming into effect from 1st of april 2024 next according to world economic outlook navigating global divergences this report is released by imf and according to them imf the global economy's growth is projected to slow down to 3.5% in 2022 that was earlier projected to be 3% in 2023 correct so right option here is option 5 next in november aiff that is all india football federation president dash received the asian football confederation president's recognition bronze award for grassroots football while dash country football association won the gold award so remember recently all india football federation president who is he kalyan chobe right he received asian football confederation president's recognition bronze award for grassroots football whereas australia whereas australia country's football association has won the gold award so gold award for the football association or football association of which country won the gold award here it was won by australia's football club or football association and india's football association won which award they won bronze award and who is the president of all india football federation he will be kalyan chobe so right option is option 2 here correct next and these are the efc 
annual awards for 2023 or 2022 they were held in doha qatar next which among the following are incorrect with respect to hongzo asian para games 2022 held in october 2023 so which among the following are correct all these options are correct except option 1 so our ops or because we have to find the incorrect one option a is right it is saying that indian contingent finished 8th position in the medal tally with 122 medals in the huangzhou asia para games held in huangzhou china so remember india did not finish at the 8th position actually so what was the rank of india in the medal tally here so india finished 5th in the medal tally with a total of 111 medals out of which 29 were gold 31 silver and 51 bronze correct the next is fourth edition they were the para games of these uh, huangzhou asian para games this was the fourth edition so absolutely right then sumit until one gold medal in the javelin throw and sheetal devi is the only current female international archer to shoot with her feet and one gold here so that is also important and ankur dhama set a new record by becoming first indian to win two gold medals in a single edition of the asia para games so all these options are correct and we have seen india's rank what was it it was india at the fifth position not eighth position next dash wildlife conservationist passed away in october 2023 so allen uh, any right any right the wildlife campaigner who died at the age of 94 correct and she was one of the last british expatriates who stayed on after independence in 1947 and she was a wildlife conservationist who recently passed away correct she was a wildlife campaigner she was a tiger enthusiast correct she was a horse breeder she was a party lover also and she was a friend of leading politicians and royalties and she recently passed away she also received sanctuary asia lifetime service award i repeat she received sanctuary asia lifetime service award in 2013 so right option is any right next which among the following cities in punjab have been recently included in the 30 cities of historical and religious tourism importance of 15 states selected under the swadesh darshan 2.0 scheme of the union ministry of tourism i repeat which among the following cities of punjab recently included into the 30 cities of historical and religious tourism importance of 15 states selected under swadesh darshan 2.0 scheme of union ministry of tourism it is kapurthala and amritsar correct kapurthala and amritsar these are the two cities correct in punjab that are included into the 30 cities of the historical and religious tourism importance of 15 states that are selected under swadesh darshan 2.0 scheme of union ministry of tourism next shivnadar has recently retained the title of india's most generous for the dash consecutive year in the elder gave huren in india philanthropy list of 2023 so shivnadar correct he received this title for the third consecutive year as the india's most generous person right next and remember shivnadar was on the top position correct then tell me who was on the second position who was on the second position azim prem ji was on the second position founder and chairman of wipro and on third position mukesh ambani next which ministry has recently signed an mou with election commission of india to develop an institutional framework to formally incorporate electoral literacy into school and college education system it is ministry of education as the question suggests then here remember if we are talking about election commission of india they appointed national icons two national icons were appointed sachin tendulkar and rajkumar rao and both of them were appointed for 3 year in order to promote voter awareness next name the aircraft of indian navy that has recently decommissioned after 46 years of service to the nation at indian naval ship hansa at doblim goa so what is the name of this aircraft that was recently decommissioned after 46 years of service to the nation at indian naval ship hansa that is in goa so what is the name of that particular aircraft it is illusion 38c dragon correct Illusion 38C Dragon. It is a long-range maritime patrol aircraft of Indian Navy, decommissioned after 46 years of service 
टू द नेशन एट आई एन एस हंसा एट डब्ल्यू इन गोवा करेक्ट नेक्स्ट नेम द स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक दैट रिसेंटली पार्टनर्ड विद इक्सिगो टू लॉन्च अ प्रीमियम को ब्रांडेड ट्रेवल क्रेडिट कार्ड सो वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक दैट इज ए यू स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक अलॉन्ग विद ट्रेवल प्लेटफॉर्म इक्सिगो राइट एंड दे हैव अनाउंस द लॉन्च ऑफ अ प्रीमियम इक्सिगो ए यू को ब्रांडेड क्रेडिट कार्ड द एम ऑफ विच इज टू एनहेंस द ट्रेवल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ मॉडर्न ट्रेवलर्स इन द अर्बन रीजन राइट नेक्स्ट विच कंपनी हैज रिसेंटली साइंड अ फिफ्टीन ईयर अग्रीमेंट विद गेल दैट इज गैस अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड दैट इज वर्थ सिक्सटी थ्री थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज टू सप्लाई प्रोपेन फॉर इंडिया फर्स्ट प्रोपेन डी हाइड्रोजनेशन एंड पोली प्रोपीन प्लांट प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज इन उसार महाराष्ट्र आई रिपीट नेम द कंपनी द कंपनी इज भारत पेट्रोलियम कॉरपोरेशन लिमिटेड दैट इज बी पी सी एल दे कोलेबरेटेड विद गेल इंडिया द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज वर्थ फॉर सिक्सटी थ्री थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज एंड इट इज फॉर द सप्लाई ऑफ प्रोपेन गैस करेक्ट फॉर इंडिया फर्स्ट प्रोपेन डी हाइड्रोजनेशन एंड पॉली प्रोपीन प्लांट प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज लोकेटेड इन उसार महाराष्ट्र नेक्स्ट नेम द पर्सनैलिटी हु हैज रिसेंटली वन द सेकेंड एडिशन ऑफ रोहिणी नैयर प्राइज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फॉर एन आउटस्टैंडिंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू रूरल डेवलपमेंट इट इज दीनानाथ राजपूत करेक्ट दीनानाथ राजपूत हैज रिसेंटली वन द सेकेंड एडिशन ऑफ रोहिणी नैयर प्राइज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फॉर एन आउटस्टैंडिंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द रूरल डेवलपमेंट दिस प्राइज वॉज अनाउंस ड्यूरिंग अ फंक्शन दैट वॉज हेल्ड एट इंडिया इंटरनेशनल सेंटर दैट इज इन न्यू डेली दीनानाथ राजपूत रिमेंबर ही वर्क फॉर द अपलिफ्टमेंट ऑफ ओवर सिक्स थाउजेंड ट्राइबल वीमेन इन छत्तीसगढ़ करेक्ट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग आर करेक्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री चैंपियंस ऑफ द अर्थ अनाउंस बाय यू एन ई पी इन नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग आर करेक्ट सो रिमेंबर ऑल दीज थ्री ऑप्शन आर राइटली मैंशन हेयर करेक्ट सो ऑल दीज थ्री आर करेक्ट नेक्स्ट In November, Zurich Insurance Company acquired a dash person stake in Kotak General Insurance for four thousand fifty one crore rupees. So, Zurich Insurance Company they acquired a stake of fifty one percent in Kotak General Insurance for four thousand and fifty one crore rupees, and that is for fifty one percent stake. Here, Kotak General Insurance Company is valued at eight thousand crore rupees on a post money valuation. Next. Indian Army conducted the inaugural test of firing of 70 mm rockets and 20 mm turret guns of the light combat helicopter dash in both day and night conditions so indian army they conducted the inaugural test firing of 70 mm rockets and 20 mm turret guns of light combat helicopter that is prachand correct that is both in day and night so 70 mm rocket and 20 mm 20 mm Turret gun. They both were recently tested. Correct. And what is the name of the helicopter that was used to test this? That is LCH Prachand. Next, which among the following countries does does not share boundary with Bolivia? Quite a random question, but remember here, Ecuador is the right option. Ecuador does not share boundary among with the Bolivia. So Peru, Paraguay, Argentina, and Brazil they all share boundary with Bolivia. Next, in which state Amanga Tiger Reserve is located? So, Amanga Tiger Reserve is located in which state? It is located in Uttar Pradesh. Correct. Next, which among the following are correct with respect to the inauguration of development projects in power and rail sector by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in November two thousand and twenty-three? If we look at the option, all these three options are rightly mentioned here. PM Modi and his Bangladeshi counterpart. That is PM Sheikh Hasina virtually inaugurated Akora Agartala rail line starting from Tripura's Nishchantapur and Ganga Sagar in Bangladesh, which will connect Agartala in Tripura with Akora in Bangladesh. So absolutely right. Second, both the leaders inaugurated Khulna Mongla port rail line, which will encompass the construction of a 65 kilometer broad gauze rail route that will connect Mongola port to the existing rail network in Khulna. And third is second unit of the Maitri Super Thermal Power Plant was jointly inaugurated under India Concessional Financing Scheme loan of 1.6 billion dollar is 1,302 kilometer uh, 1,320 megawatt super thermal power plant that is located in Ramphal in Khulna division of Bangladesh. Next, which country has recently signed a letter of intent with India? 
or corporation in the field of public administration and administrative reforms for three years it is france right france they recently signed this letter of intent with india for corporation in the field of public administration and administrative reforms and it is for three years under this letter of intent a joint working group will be established to create a roadmap for this bilateral corporation and high level of exchanges will be done in the upcoming month here, India presented Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision of maximum governance, minimum government policy. I repeat, maximum governance, minimum government policy. It is of which country? It is of India. And as we saw, the aim here is to enhance bilateral relationship between India and France. Next, which government sector enterprise has recently unveiled National Efficient Cooking Program and Energy Efficient Fence Program? It is energy efficiency service limited that is eesl correct they has recently unveiled the national efficient cooking program and energy efficient fence program it was launched by energy efficiency service limited here under these programs eesl will distribute 20 lakh energy efficient induction cook stoves to reduce the environmental impact of cooking practices right and remember here in this necp that is national efficient cooking program here Aim is to revolutionize the cooking practices by providing these cooking stoves and under this trip, uh, double EF that is energy efficient fence program under this energy and efficiency of the electric fence are to be increased. Correct. More and more work will be done towards providing better quality of fence that will be using less electricity. Next, RBI increase the minimum amount for offering non calibre term deposit from 15 lakh rupees to 1 crore rupees. I repeat, RBI increased the minimum amount for offering non calibre term deposits that are TDs from 15 lakh rupees to 1 crore rupees with immediate effect. This means that all the domestic TDs, that is, term deposits accepted from individuals for amount 1 crore and below will have a premature withdrawal facility. Next, IRDAI formed a task force under the chairmanship of DAS to review the existing bank currents framework so remember irdi they recently formed a task force under the chairmanship of meena kumari to review the existing bank currents framework this task force was formed as a response to concerns about mis-selling forced selling of insurance policies through the bank currents channel also the task force will also examine best international practices and also suggest suitable changes next which among the following are correct with respect to the step taken by RBI in November 2023? Which among the following are correct here? Option A and B are correct. It is saying RBI decided to include all entities facilitating cross-border payment transactions for import and export of the goods and service under the direct regulations of RBI. And non-banks providing payments under aggregation and payment processing service must have a minimum net worth of 15 crore rupees during the application to RBI. Now coming to C option, it is saying RBI imposed 72 lakh rupees penalty on LNT Finance Limited for non-compliance with certain provisions of RBI directions of 2016 and master circular on customer services in banks. So which among the this option? It is remember here RBI has imposed this 72 lakh penalty on not on LNT Finance Limited but on Punjab National Bank for non-compliance with certain provisions of RBI and also apart from this RBI imposed a 30 lakh penalty on federal bank 30 lakh penalty on federal bank correct also a 10 lakh penalty on the Mercedes Benz Financial Services India was also imposed next who has recently been nominated as the regional director of WHO C Southeast Asian region that is SER and we saw she is Saima Wazid she is from Bangladesh and she is the daughter of PM Sheikh Hasina she has been nominated as the regional director of WHO SEAR next one more question can be asked here is that Saima Wazid she will be succeeding whom she will be succeeding Dr. Poonam Khetrapal right and how many members are there in this Southeast Asian region? A total of 11 members are there. Next, name the personality from India who recently been elected as the member of UN Advisory Committee on Administrative and Budgetary Questions for three years term. So right option is Surendra Kumar Adhana, right? Senior Indian diplomat Surendra Kumar Adhana 
was re-elected as a member of UN Advisory Committee on Administrative and Budgetary Questions for three years term. Correct? That will begin on 1st of January 2024 and it will be from 2024 till 2026. Next, when was the International Day for Biospheres Reserve 2023 observed across the globe by UNESCO? So it is on 3rd of November. Remember, International Day for Biosphere Reserve was observed across the globe by UNESCO. And it is to raise awareness of the importance of biosphere reserves and promote their conservation and sustainable use. Correct. And this year in 2023, it was the second edition for the or second observance of this International Day for Biosphere Reserve. First was observed in 2022. Next, who has recently became the only Indian to win two gold medals in the annual World Masters Powerlifting Champions held in Mongolia? So, right option is Sarwari Inamda, right? She's a 40-year-old mother of two from Pune, India. That means she's from Pune, Maharashtra. And she became the only Indian to win two gold medals in the annual World Masters Powerlifting Championship that was held in Mongolia. She was competing in the 57kg category. Next, in which city, Union Minister of Port Shipping and Waterways, Sarbandana Sonowal, flagged off the maiden voyages of the vessel Costa Serena in November? So, in which city, Sarbandana Sonowal flagged off this maiden voyage of the vessel Costa Serena? So, from where it was flagged off, it was from Mumbai, Maharashtra. And this is India's first international cruise liner. This event was held in Mumbai, Maharashtra and this symbolizes the dawn of the new era in the cruising and tourism in India. Also, this aligns with the government of India's initiative that is Deko Apna Desh initiative. This Costa Serena, remember this is the 17th ship fleet of Costa Serena and it is the 10th ship that has been recently launched. Next, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the extension of the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana till dash. So, Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana has been extended till which year? It has been extended till 2028. Right? It has been extended till 2028. Next. And what is this? This is to provide free food to the individuals. Correct? Food subsidies will be provided. Initially, this scheme was rolled out in 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic. Next, which company recently became the first foreign company to get Government of India's approval for 100% FDI in the defense sector? It is Saab AB. Right? Saab AB, this is a Swedish defense company and it became the first foreign company to get the Government of India's approval for 100% FDI in the defense sector. The FDI proposal here was valued at 500 crore rupees. Next, which among the following are correct with respect to Global Responsible Tourism Award 2023 presented in November? If we look at the option, all these three options are rightly mentioned. Responsible Tourism Partnership and International Center for Responsible Tourism announced the eight winners of the Global Responsible Tourism Award for 2023. Kerala Responsible Tourism Mission won the award under the Best Local Sourcing craft and food category for promoting sustainable and women inclusion initiatives and sore exclusions of Ahmedabad Gujarat from India has won award under the best for meaningful connections category. Next, next is ACC extended the tenure of AS Rajiv who is our managing director and chief executive officer of Dash for six months. So remember, AS Rajiv, he is the MD and chief executive officer of Bank of Maharashtra. Right, and his term has been extended for the next six months. Correct. Next, next is the Spear Corps Aviation Unit of the Indian Army successfully tested, fired, or test fired the new generation rocket and turret ammunition from the first indigenous attack helicopter, that is Rudra. Right, we are say, talking about Spear Corps. Right, this is the aviation unit of. Indian Army and they successfully tested new generation rocket and turret ammunition. Correct. They tested this from indigenous attack helicopter that is named Rudra. Right. That is named Rudra. 
नेक्स्ट इन विच स्टेट साइंटिस्ट हैव रिसेंटली डिस्कवर्ड न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ एपीफाइटिक प्लांट दैट वॉज नेम्ड लाइसोनोटस नामचूमी करेक्ट दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ एपीफाइटिक प्लांट दैट वॉज रिसेंटली डिस्कवर्ड इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश करेक्ट साइंटिस्ट एट द अरुणाचल प्रदेश रीजनल सेंटर ऑफ द बोटेनिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया डिस्कवर्ड दिस न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ दिस एपीफाइटिक प्लांट इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश दैट इज इन द ईस्टर्न हिमालयास नेक्स्ट इन विच स्टेट गुंडी नेशनल पार्क इज लोकेटेड सो गुंडी नेशनल पार्क वेर इज इट लोकेटेड इट इज लोकेटेड इन तमिलनाडु कलेक्ट करेक्ट मार्क दिस सो इट वेर इज दिस लोकेटेड इन तमिलनाडु देन देर इज पन्ना टाइगर रिजर्व वी जस ऑफ वेर वॉज इट इट वॉज इन मध्य प्रदेश करेक्ट सो फ्रेंड्स दीज आर योर इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द फर हेर यू कैन सी पन्ना टाइगर रिजर्व सो इट इज फॉर मध्य प्रदेश सो कमिंग बैक दिस वॉज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन एंड फ्रेंड्स दीज वर योर इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ द नवंबर मंथ इफ द सेशन वॉज इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज लाइक द वीडियो बिफोर मूविंग ऑन फ्रेंड्स लेट्स रिवाइज सम करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द रिविजन परस्पेक्टिव राइट देन वी विल बी एंडिंग दिस सेशन करेक्ट एंड दीज रिविजन करंट अफेयर्स विल बी वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर योर रिविजन पार्ट एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट गोन थ्रू दैम डू टेक अ नोट ऑफ दैम एंड दे विल बी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर रिविजन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच एडिशन ऑफ अर्बन मोबिलिटी इंडिया कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड एग्जीबिशन वॉज हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली रिमेंबर रिसेंटली इट वॉज द सिक्सटीन एडिशन ऑफ अर्बन मोबिलिटी इंडिया कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड एग्जीबिशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री दैट वॉज हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली करेक्ट एंड दिस एग्जीबिशन एंड कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज इन कोलेब्रेशन विद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ अर्बन ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ डी एम आर सी दैट इज डेली मेट्रो रेल कॉरपोरेशन द इवेंट टूक प्लेस फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ टिल ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर एंड वेयर वॉज इट लोकेशन इज मनेक्शा सेंटर दैट इज इन डेली कैंट इन न्यू डेली राइट दिस वॉज योर अर्बन मोबिलिटी इंडिया एंड इंडियन मोबिलिटी कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड एग्जीबिशन then next thing can be asked that this was inaugurated by whom this conference or exhibition was inaugurated by hardeep singh puri ji right then what is the theme on which this particular exhibition was based the theme is integrated and resilient urban transport this is the theme for the urban mobility india conference and exhibition held in new delhi of which this was your 16th edition next next we are talking about kazind 2023 this is an exercise that was held between india and which country so kazind it is a joint military exercise this was held between india and kazakhstan so right option is option b india and kazakhstan together observed this exercise this joint military exercise kazind and what is the location where this exercise was held it is kazakhstan right kazakhstan is the exercise where this particular exercise kazind was held between india and kazakhstan then it was which edition it was the 7th edition of this exercise that was held recently then next thing can be asked that from indian side which battalion took part it was led by dogra regiment right dogra regiment of indian army took part in this uh, exercise that is kazin exercise and as the name suggest kazin k a z for kazakhstan and i n d for india right so take a note of it and this was which exercise it was the 7th edition of this exercise then 6th edition of this exercise where was this held the last edition that is the 6th edition took place in december in 2022 and this exercise was held where in meghalaya that is in india and 7th exercise is being held in kazakhstan next next is two indian cities gwalior that is in madhya pradesh and kozhikode where is this kozhikode it is in kerala so these two indian cities named in the unesco's creative cities network on world cities day 2023 i repeat kozhikode and gwalior they have been declared as the creative cities of unesco or unesco's creative cities network on world cities day 2023 remember when do we observe world cities day this day is observed on 31st of october and remember recently a total of 55 cities has joined the unesco's creative cities network that is ucc and 
correct how many cities has joined the unesco's creative city network a total of 55 cities has joined it and there are two indian cities in this particular list first is gwalior of madhya pradesh and second is kozhikode of kerala and it is in the unesco's creative cities network correct then remember gwalior has been designated as the unesco's city of music and kozhikode as the city of culture so city of music that is gwalior and kozhikode that is the city of literature correct these both are important unesco city of music is your gwalior that is in madhya pradesh and kozhikode the city of literature that is in kerala both are important correct if we talk about unesco who is the director general audrey osle headquarters is in paris france and it was established in 1950 or 1945 next according to the report of road accidents in india 2022 which state has the maximum number of accidents tell me i repeat according to a report that was recently published by ministry of road transport and highways a report was released that is road accidents in india 2022 this annual report published by ministry of road transport and highways and it stated that the maximum number of accidents for the fifth consecutive year the state that has stopped here is tamil nadu so tamil nadu has stopped the list of the state with the maximum number of accidents for fifth consecutive year and in the year 2022 alone tamil nadu reported 13.9 accidents of all the accidents that took place and that roughly translate to around 40 64000 accidents right then apart from this this report also suggested that in the year 2022 india has around 461000 accidents that took place and this report was released by ministry of road transport and highways who is our minister here nitin gadkari ji next Next is here you can see road accidents in India annual report published by Ministry of Road Transport and Highways the states and union territories of India reported a total of 461000 road accidents during 2022 and the accidents occurred during 2022 have claimed around 168000 lives and caused injuries to 443000 people next 37th national games this will be held in which state so remember 37th national games this is going to be held in goa right then next thing remember prime minister narendra modi inaugurated and dedicated various development projects worth 7500 crore rupees in maharashtra right on his visit to maharashtra and goma uh, goa apart from this he also launched namo shaktikari mahasamman nidhi yojana you can see here he launched namo sehatkari mahasamman nidhi yojana he also dedicated left bank canal network of nilwande dam and pm modi also inaugurated the 37th national games in an official ceremony held at pandit jawaharlal nehru stadium at margao and goa that is on 26th or that was on 26th of october next thing remember the important thing here is the motto of these national games that is going to be held in goa that is get set goa this is the motto of 37th national games and if we talk about goa free ivf will also be provided in the government hospitals of goa correct so this was visit of prime minister narendra modi to maharashtra and if we talk about maharashtra if you remember maharashtra is the state that is tied up with various football leagues globally such as your bundesliga so that they can encourage the use or encourage the youth of maharashtra to take part in this sport and for this maharashtra government is also providing basic infrastructure that will be required for the same then chhatrapati shivaji international stadium is in mumbai maharashtra then in dance form if we talk about lavani is the dance form that is observed in maharashtra tadoba national park tadoba national park is in maharashtra sanjay gandhi national park is in maharashtra and chandoli national park is also located in or uh, observed uh, is located in maharashtra who is the governor of maharashtra shri ramesh bias next next is recently collins dictionary named ai as the word of the year ai as the word of the year 2023 that is ai correct as we know ai is the abbreviation for artificial intelligence and it is a uncountable noun and this describes the modeling of human mental functions by computer program correct 
सो दिस ए आई हैज बिन डिक्लेयर एज द वर्ड ऑफ द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बाय कॉलेज डिक्शनरी एंड दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हाई चांस ऑफ बींग आस्ट नेक्स्ट लेक्सिकोग्राफर्स वॉट इज दिस आर दीज लेक्सिकोग्राफर्स दीज आर द पर्सन हु कंपाइल्स डिक्शनरीज एंड लेक्सिकोग्राफर्स ऑफ कॉलेज डिक्शनरी स्टेटेड दैट द यूज ऑफ द टर्म ए आई हैज इंक्रीज एंड डोमिनेटेड द कंजर्वेशन कन्वर्सेशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दैट इज द रीजन ए आई वॉज डिक्लेयर एज द वर्ल्ड वर्ड ऑफ द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बाय कॉलेज डिक्शनरी If I ask what was the previous or the word of the year for 2022, it was NFT. And NFT stands for non fungible token. Sorry, this NFT was for the year 2021. For 2020, it was lockdown, and for 2022, it was Parma crisis. Parma. crisis this is the word for the year 2022 for 2021 nft non fungible token and for 2020 it was lockdown which country became the first country in the world to fully sterilize their entire street dog population right which is the country that became the first country to fully sterilize that they won't be able to now populate or cross breed or they won't be able to produce now correct so which is that country it is bhutan bhutan became the first country in the world where they have became the first country to completely sterilize and vaccinate their entire stray dog population across bhutan under this project over 150000 stray dogs were sterilized and 32000 pet dogs were also microchipped for the same reason correct next here you can see bhutan it became the first country to fully sterilize the entire street dogs population and national dog population management and rabies control project this is the project this was a 14 year long project that was launched in 2009 and completed in 2023 under this project 1 lakh 50000 stray dogs were sterilized and 32 pet thousand pets were also microchipped this program was implemented by a global animal charity called human society international next is max verstappen sets another f1 record with 2023 maximum mexican grand prix win so max verstappen he is a belgian dutch driver he drives for red bull and he has recently won the f1 mexico city grand prix right this was held from 27 to 29th of october and this marks max verstappen's third consecutive win This marks Max Verstappen's third consecutive win at the Mexico Grand Prix, including his win in 2021, 2022, and now in 2023. This win also marks Verstappen's 16th win out of 19 races of 2023 season, and Max Verstappen broke his own record for the most F1 victories in a single season in 2023 by winning 16 races. His pre previous record was 15 victories that was set in 2022 season, and now Max Verstappen has won 16. Races in a or sixteen wins in a particular season or in a particular year. If we talk about Mexican GP, who won here? Max Verstappen on first, Lewis Hamilton second, and Charles Leclerc on the third position. Next is your important is National Unity Day. It is observed on thirty first of October, and this day, National Unity Day or Rashtri Ekta Divas. annually observed on 31st of october to commemorate the birth anniversary of iron man of india who is the iron man of india sardar vallabhai patel correct and he was the first deputy prime minister and home minister of independent india from 1947 to 1950 and this year 2023 it marks 148th birth anniversary of sardar vallabhai patel then remember the first ever national unity day was observed in the year 2000 14 Next next is World Cities Day this day is observed on 31st of October and this year it was a 10th edition of this World Cities Day observed it is to promote international communities interest in global urbanization push for global cooperation in sustainable urban development and contribute to sustainable urban development worldwide then there is a theme that is financing sustainable urban future for all this is the theme for the World Cities Day Then this was first observed in the year 2014. Next, World Savings Day. This day is observed on 31st of October, and it is to raise awareness regarding the importance of saving and financial security of individuals. 
India observes this World Savings Day on 30th of October every year that marks the death anniversary of Indira Gandhi who was the former third prime minister of India correct and there is a theme that is conquer your tomorrow for the World Savings Day observed on 31st of October this day was first observed in 1924 next World Occupational Therapy Day this day is observed on 27th of October and it is to promote the mission and goals of occupational therapy occupational therapy is a site centric i repeat occupational therapy this is a site centric health profession that promotes health and well-being through work and the major purpose of occupational therapy is to enable people to engage in everyday activities what is the theme of this world occupational therapy day unity through community next next is some state news friends recently west bengal governor Ananda Bose was awarded the inaugural Durga Bharat Samman. I repeat, recently West Bengal Governor C V Ananda Bose, C V Ananda Bose, Governor of West Bengal, was presented with the inaugural Durga Bharat Samman during the event organized at Raj Bhavan in Kolkata, West Bengal. During this event, he formally launched Mission Kala Kranti, that is an initiative that is aimed at promoting the art and culture of West Bengal in India. And the government of West Bengal has also organized the Durga Puja Carnival, showcasing iconic idols of Goddess Durga. So these two things are important. First, that is C V Ananda Bose was presented with the inaugural Durga Bharat Samman. Durga Bharat Samman. and then remember during this mission kala kranti was also launched by him and durga puja carnival was also launched this durga bharat uh, param samman was also presented right mark this also next next is mera hou chongba festival this mera hou chongba festival was celebrated in which state in manipur important take a note of it So Manipur celebrated this annual Mera Hou Chongba festival. This is an annual cultural festival of solidarity in Manipur. And then remember this event was organized by Mera Hou Chongba Thousil Lop, right? Then Manipur's chief minister N Biren Singh along with the king of Manipur Lishamba Sanjogba attended this event and this particular festival marks the oneness of the growth of nationalism in Manipur and celebrates the bond of brotherhood love and unity correct so mera hou chongba festival is observed in manipur these were your important first question is who topped in the 10th edition of the elder give huron india philanthropy list so in this particular list the person who has secured the top position will be shiv nadar right i repeat recently huron research institute and elder give i repeat huron research institute and elder give recently released the 10th edition of the annual ranking of elder give huron india philanthropy list in which shiv nadar who is 78 now of hcl technologies retained retained the top position of india's most generous person and who is a philanthropist who provides donations for various causes that can be education healthcare and any other segment that will be helping the people who cannot uh, afford basic things correct so basically to help the people and to give donations this list was released and who is the most generous person of india or who has topped the elder give huron india philanthropy list for 2023 shiv nadar correct then this is for the third consecutive year that shiv nadar has secured the top position and he donated 2042 crore rupees during the fiscal year 23 right and out of his total donation 1774 crore rupees were for art and culture and education then on second position on the, so on top was shiv nadar on first position on second position is ajim prem ji correct and here he donated oh sorry he is the chairman of wipro correct as he donated more than we can say 1500 crore rupees annually and all these people are donation they donate their donation goes to the people basically for their healthcare education and various other purposes correct so this is your elder give here in india philanthropy list 
टॉप बाय शिवनादर फॉर द थर्ड कॉन्जिक्यूटिव ईयर एंड ऑन सेकेंड पोजिशन इज अजीम प्रे नेक्स्ट हु वॉज अवॉर्डेड विद रोशनी नैयर प्राइज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो रिमेंबर सोशल वर्कर दीनानाथ राजपूत सोशल वर्कर दीनानाथ राजपूत वॉज अवॉर्डेड विद द रोशनी नैयर प्राइज फॉर एम्पावरिंग ट्राइबल वीमेन दिस वॉज फॉर एम्पावरिंग ट्राइबल वीमेन सोशल जस्टिस सोशल वर्कर दीनानाथ राजपूत वॉज अवॉर्डेड विद रोशनी नैयर प्राइज फॉर एम्पावरिंग द ट्राइबल वीमेन दीनानाथ राजपूत ही इज थर्टी थ्री ईयर्स ऑफ एज ही इज फ्रॉम छत्तीसगढ़ राइट एंड ही वन द सेकेंड एडिशन ऑफ दिस रोशनी नैयर प्राइज एंड दिस वॉज फॉर एन आउटस्टैंडिंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू रूरल डेवलपमेंट दिस अवार्ड वॉज प्रजेंटेड बाय एन के सिंह प्रजेंटेड बाय एन के सिंह हु इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ फिफ्टीन फाइनेंस कमीशन एंड द प्राइज वॉज अनाउंस एट द फंक्शन विच वॉज हेल्ड एट इंडिया इंटरनेशनल सेंटर इन न्यू डेली करेक्ट नेक्स्ट रिमेंबर हेयर दीनानाथ राजपूत he worked as for the upliftment of more than 6000 tribal women in chatisgarh a region known for its challenges in naxal activities correct next who received global leadership award for philanthropy so remember recently global leadership award for philanthropy and corporate social responsibility was honored to neeta ambani correct as you can see here in the picture here Neeta Ambani was awarded with the Global Leadership Award for Philanthropy and Corporate Social Responsibility. She was awarded by whom? USI SPF. What is this? This is US India Strategic Partnership Forum. This was an event that was held in New Delhi. The award was presented by John Chambers. And as you can see him in the picture here, he is John Chambers. He is the chairman of USI SPF. who awarded this award to neeta ambani also neeta ambani received the award for her contribution towards women empowerment supporting education promoting indian arts and culture and developing sports in india right then remember all we talk about neeta ambani she is the founder and chairperson of reliance foundation the philanthropic arm of reliance industries limited and in 2016 she became the first indian women she became the first indian women to be elected as the member of ioc member of international olympic committee correct she led the indian delegation that won the bid to host the 141st ioc session that was held in mumbai maharashtra correct mark this next next is balan dior awards that were recently presented in which sport do we present this award this is presented in football and recently balan dior awards were presented they were the 67th edition of the balan dior awards they were presented in both men's and women's category question asked here is that in men's category who won balan dior award so lionel messi he is from uh, he is from argentina and he has recently won the balan dior award and this was the 67th balan dior award and apart from this remember it was 8th Ballon d'Or award for Lionel Messi correct eighth ballon d'Or award and here you can see for the men's he will be Messi and for women if we talk about who won the women ballon d'Or award so remember ballon d'Or award for men was won by Lionel Messi and for women Aitana Bonmati she is from Spain she plays for football club Barcelona and she has been or she was awarded or she has won the ballon d'or award correct important take a note of it then apart from this remember this was the fifth edition of the ballon d'or award for women correct ballon d'or award for women was started in 2018 and it was the fifth edition that was presented to aitana donmati as you can see here in the picture and she is from spain right so coming back 67th edition of the ballon d'or award were held in 2023 october in paris france and this ballon d'or award is annually presented by the french magazine that is france football since 1956 it was awarded based on the achievement from the past season so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day
that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue